We've got a 200 kilohertz pencil probe connected to the instrument. I've recalled the 200 kilohertz settings that come as a default with the instrument, and I'm here on a bit of steel block. And I've just taken the default settings, and currently the phase liftoff signal, which is the signal when you lift the probe up and down, is going off at, to the left and up to 45 degrees, which isn't very good. Now there are two ways forward here, uh, but also if you look at the response to a notch. It's quite a large signal, so probably best to start with. Use I'm using the auto lift off here, uh, so we've set auto phase function. So I've set the angle to zero degrees, which is nine o'clock. If I now press the balance button, a circle draws on the screen, and that now sets the it's doing it upside down. Of course, let's go and do it again. Okay, so now the signals are going vertically, but we've got far too much gain. So we could go easiest to go into the quick menu. Uh, and the gain currently is 34 and 46, so there's 12 dB more gain vertically than horizontal. If I okay, go in here, press there, reduce the sensitivity level. Uh, then maybe make it, well we could switch off the time-based display but the easy one is probably just to go back into here, out of here, uh, hang on. go down to the spot, move the spot position to somewhere, Oops. where it's a bit easier to see, so I say there for instance, so now we're quite clearly and I've set the, I mean normally you would set the signal to 80% of the screen height, which is probably more or less where we are there. And you can see we've got a nice kind of response. That's 200 kilohertz lift off. So we'll go a bit vertically. Although that's the handling. It's also a bit, maybe reset it here. Press balance. And then move the probe up. Oh, that was now. now we've got it set going downwards and then it kind of looks good. If you want to make any more fine tuning the easy way is probably to just press the yeah, back out of there, press the right cursor key and then you can go into the phase item, press OK and then adjust it as you require. And that's on a on, yep, on ferrous material. Now I'm going to go back now and change over, use 200 kilohertz and then change to aluminium. Uh, here we have an aluminium test box. First thing we have to do is balance. Uh, lift off's going vertically, defects are going almost vertically. So the easy thing to do is use auto phase, press the auto phase button, press balance, uh, do a phase action. Okay, and now it's going horizontal and signal responses are very small, but that's because we turned the gain down. So we can go down to here. And one convenient thing to remember is that uh, that uh, 60B is about is twice a signal. So if you go in here, say, oh, this is that big, so how many times do we want to make it? Let's go and put in 12 dB, so let's make it say rather 20, that makes it 32. Yeah. Now press balance. And now because an aluminium, the phase angle is a bit more. Let's go make that disappear by pressing left twice. That's lift off, that's 0.2. So that's one half point two. We need to put a bit more gain in. Uh, one handy thing is we can go here and uh, select the gain item, even though we can't see it on the screen. Uh, that's one 
part 0.2. Uh, you might notice that the 0.2 is actually giving quite a small response, and that's because we're using 200 kilohertz. I could, might want to also. Let's go and put that out. Okay, so, and leave there, go down to here. Uh, go to here. Uh, now we can probably move the spot back across the screen there. No, no too far. Press the balance. So there we go. Um, so that's really showing us that the 0.2 is giving us quite a small response. If I now change using two megahertz probe on aluminium, uh, pick up two meg probe, go into leave there, go into the menu, uh, go and go load and save. There should be a two megahertz setting in here by default. So let's go over there, recall two megahertz, and hit balance. Let's see where we are. Okay, it's going vertically. So once again, let's go see where we are. Let's go use the press balance. Okay. Yes, one of, the, one of the issues is that the default on the auto phase is too small, so let's go make the auto phase bigger. It's set to zero degrees, that's okay. The radius is only 10%. Maybe best to make it something like 25. Back out to there. We'll get a bigger circle of. Press balance. I normally rock the probe. Okay, and. Balance and that's that's one half. And this is now point two, and you can see the ratio between the two is much closer to what you'd expect because the two kilohertz, the frequency is simply too low. And with some of the things we could do to make things better are we could go into the main menu and uh, improve the spot size. Uh, the three pixels out. Oops. Go here. Make it take up three pixels. And now it's drawing a three by three pixel spot to the screen. And this makes it all that much more thing. I mean, you might want to adjust the gain. So the quickest way to do the gain is probably go to the quick menu. Go here and take a couple of dB out. And there we go. We've gone from using 200 kilohertz to 2 megahertz. And one of the reasons for changing the probe frequency is because uh, you want to get good resolution to the small defects. Um, quite how bad that could be done is probably best shown by taking titanium. Just to show what happens when you try testing titanium. We think there's the lift off signal. Uh, and these are the responses we get from this is the point two million dollars. So it's almost falling back on itself. That's the lift off, that's 0.2 millimeter notch. Uh, this is a two megahertz. If I change the six megahertz, let's see if we can improve the situation. So disconnect the two megahertz probe, pick up the six megahertz probe. Uh, we of course need to change the frequency to uh, six megahertz. Go down and change the inductance to match the probe on and 2.2 microhenries will do the trick I imagine. So let's go and see what happens. Uh, let's go and make that disappear. Press balance. Lift off is now going in a completely different direction. So let's do an auto lift off. Press balance. Let's go in the kind of wrong way, so let's go and 
do it again. Could make the circle bigger. So that's left off going kind of to the left to right. And now at the six megahertz, what we see here are that we've moved the signal stays around and lift off and okay, so that's so generally speaking it's a better situation. This is why using a higher frequency is a good idea. Just increase the phase shift between the defect and the lift off signal.